Hi everyone, let's start the next chapter origin and development of anthropology as a subject. Okay, now the origin of development, origin and development of anthropology deals with the evolution of anthropology as a subject over different periods. I have divided this whole uh, chapter into two parts. First part deals with the evolution of world anthropology and the second part deals with the evolution of Indian anthropology. As you can see in this slide, T.K. Penniman was the very first person who classified the development of anthropology into four periods. He mentioned these four periods in his book, 100 Years of Anthropology. The periods are formulatory period, convergent period, constructive period and critical period. Now, the formulatory period is uh, the period before 1835 and it, uh, it is the longest period which includes the Greek philosopher views, Roman philosopher views. As per Penniman, Herodotus was the first anthropologist, was the very first anthropologist. And uh, apart from Herodotus, four famous names are also there. First one is Protagoras, who proposed the theory of relativism on the very first time. Socrates, who gave the philosophical aspects of social thinking. Plato, who gives an idea about the marriage, education, state. And Aristotle, Aristotle, who opinionated his uh, views about uh, humans and state. Now the formulatory period can further divide it into two periods. First period is the medieval period and the third, uh, second period is the colonization period. Now the, in the medieval period, under formulatory period, two famous travelers, Marco Polo and Vasco da Gama contributed a lot through their traveling. He added, they added uh, their experiences through their traveling and uh, apart from uh, Vasco de Gama, Francis Bacon, Thomas Hobbes, John Locke proposed the theories of uh, society and culture. Immanuel Kant, famous German philosopher, wrote the book Anthropology in the year 1789 and concluded that the human knowledge comes from pre-human condition. Now the second sub-period is the colonization period. Colonization period includes the British administrator's contribution in India. There are four famous reports given by British administrators. First one is the caste and tribes of India report by Edgar Thurston. Uh, William Cook also reported uh, in his writings about the tribes and caste of the northwestern provinces. Verrier Elvin gave the idea of philosophy of Nepha. Nepha is a northeast frontier alliance. And the John Russell also contributed his uh, studies on the culture of different groups in India. Okay. Now the second period came. Second period uh, is the convergent period uh, from 1835 to 1859. In this period, it deals with the biological and social aspects of humans. The social aspects of human described by the August Comte and Herbert Spencer, famous sociologists. Okay. And uh, the biological aspect of uh, human beings were described by the very first Neanderthal discovery at Dusseldorf. This discovery gave new dimensions about human evolution. James Pritchard or James Picard classifies the human races in his book The Natural History of Man and the Physical History of Man in 1836. 
he wrote two books the natural history of man and the physical history of man now he proposes the differences of color here and examine the criteria of racial classification the convergence of all these ideas was completed with the publication of charles darwin book the origin of species in 1859 charles darwin proposed the theory of organic evolution known as darwinism okay in this period this anthropology as a subject was not studied as a different discipline but was understood to be systematic observation and examination of man as a physical and moral being now the third period came constructive period constructive period starts from 1859 till 1900 and uh, 1859 is the landmark year because charles darwin work on the origin of species by means of natural selection was already published and anthropology evolved as an independent discipline in famous universities like oxford university cambridge university and uh, different uh, branches of anthropology like ethnology social anthropology physical anthropology were also evolved eb tyler james fraser henry main lh morgan the famous renowned anthropologist are from this period constructive period uh, tyler classical evolutionist and uh, morgan gave an idea about uh, the cultural evolutions torres straits expedition led by uh, whr river w river was the first person who proposed the idea of systematic field work in anthropology and many research papers were also published uh, such as american journal of folklore bulletin of the royal Asi asiatic society of great britain and ireland now uh, the name has changed as uh, man okay now the fourth period is critical period critical period deals with the development of uh, anthropology first anthropology department in india was opened in uh, university of calcutta b k malinowski proposed his functionalism theory in critical period um, under his uh, studies of trobiand islanders redcliff brown based on his studies of andaman islanders onge tribe established his theory of social structure he developed structural functionalist school of thought critical period deals with the james fraser melinowski redcliff brown and uh, american scholars also uh, like uh, al crowbell al crowber ruth benedict margaret mead clark whistler also plays uh, their uh, significant role in shaping the world anthropology now the post 1935 deals with the international interdisciplinary approach which give boost to the other dimensions of uh, anthropology uh, or the sub fields of anthropology like uh, medical anthropology ecological anthropology or uh, linguistic anthropology or the contemporary action anthropology and applied anthropology both okay now this uh, part of origin and development of world anthropology uh, is already completed and uh, we will do the next video on uh, the evolution of indian anthropology okay thank you let's start the second part of this chapter in indian anthropology evolution now this evolution of indian anthropology or the growth of indian anthropology were described by basu roy in four phases 
फर्स्ट वन इज़ फॉर्मेटिव फेज कंस्ट्रक्टिव फेज एनालिटिकल फेज एंड द फोर्थ वन इज़ इवेल्यूएटिव फेज नाउ द फॉर्मेटिव फेज डील्स विद द एंथ्रोपोलॉजिकल स्टडीज ऑफ ट्राइबल्स देयर कस्टम्स देयर डाइवर्सिटीज इन कल्चर many societies were also established many journals were published like uh, society of indian a society of india uh, established by william jones uh, anthropological society of bombay in 1886 published uh, its journal and uh, hs risley also published his reports on the tribes and caste of bengal under project people of india in 1912 sc roy published his monograph munda and their country munda tribe and their country journal of uh, bihar odisha research societies also started and uh, anthropology as a subject in the sociology department of bombay university was introduced d n majumdar according to d n majumdar this formative phase already ended in 1911 but uh, as per lp vidyarthi this uh, formative phase extended up to 1920 but uh, in a simple words it deals uh, with 1774 to 1919 here is a uh, really not uh, that much important but you must mention the four phases of uh, indian anthropology as a subject how it evolves okay now the second uh, phase is the constructive phase from 1920 to 1949 in this period uh, anthropology came into the curriculum of post graduate studies in calcutta university l k ananth krishna ayer r chanda also came in this constructive phase publication of journal man in india under the editorial ship of uh, sc roy is the main uh, feature of this constructive phase verrier elvin published his book the baiga the baiga is uh, uh, he propo- uh, he explained about the baiga tribe okay now anthropological survey of india it is the anthropological research organization established and uh, whose first director was b s goha in the 1947 also department of anthropology was opened in delhi university now the third phase is the analytical phase analytical phase of indian anthropology deals with the interaction of uh, indian anthropology indian anthropologist uh, with foreign anthropologist there is a shift from the descriptive studies of pre literate societies to the analytical studies of complex societies that is from simple societies to complex societies the famous lp vidyarthi study of ghagra was published as a monograph and uh, lp vidyarthi b k roy berman आर एम माखन झा पी के मिश्रा के एस सिंह टी एन मदान सुरजीत सिंह ऑल्सो डूइंग वर्क इन दिस एनालिटिकल फेज एंड वेरियस मैथडोलॉजीज वर ऑल्सो डेवलप्ड बाय इंडियन एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट टू स्टडी द डिफरेंट ट्राइबल्स और एनी पर्टिकुलर सोसाइटी ओके नाउ द फोर्थ पीरियड इज द इवेल्यूएटिव फेज evaluative phase started from 1990 till to the present now okay now the emergence of new areas and difference of fields within these areas like medical anthropology 
anthropology of religion developmental studies and psychological studies are more evident in this period anthropology in india concerning the change leading to tribal identity it deals with the tribal life it deals with the industrial anthropology emergence it deals with the tribal demography it deals with the integrated studies of tribal regions mainly indian anthropology deals with the tribals it deals with the uh, action research it deals with the um, holistic development of uh, tribals in the words of lp vidyarthi the journey of indian anthropology still continues it has gone much ahead under the influence of and in collaboration with the british and american anthropologists also now uh, from this uh, last slide this unit 1 introducing anthropology um, has completed and uh, i will start the unit 2 in the next video 